Welcome back, Connect fam, to the Connect Network TV right here on The CW. Happy Saturday. So now we are being joined with the amazing entrepreneur, body language, and resilience coach um, herself, Miss Tiffany Lee. Welcome her to the show. Hi, Tiffany. Hello, ladies. How are you? Bless the you. Yeah, we are. And we're so happy to have you here with us today, Tiffany. So body language. How yes. long have you been studying it? Share with us. Of course, officially since 2019, but it's really always been in my spirit. I went to Howard University and graduated with a degree in communication and culture. So that kind of laid the frown, the the grant the framework. And then when I got certified, totally crazy story happened in 2019. And then I just dove deep into it. Everything in my life made sense. Very good. So how were you inspired to start your own business, The Behavioral Factor? Share with us. Right. So after I got certified and I started to put these, these different moves and the techniques into practice, I noticed that I felt better. I walked into work, walked different. I sat different. I began to talk different and then noticed different things in other people. And it just made me feel more confident. I was an executive assistant at the time and it made me feel more confident. Yeah. So I want to just dive right into it. How does a body language help with effective communication and how can we use the skill in the office? Think of body language as like your that unspoken secret tip in your back pocket. You've got that, you've got that one little magic maneuver that you hold out and that you, you use at the last minute and consider that to be body language. Body language has the power to amplify everything that you're saying verbally. So for example, you want to appear more confident during presentations. Then you want to make sure you're standing tall. You want to make sure that you're giving eye contact. You want to make sure that you are using open gestures. So that means don't be afraid to talk with your hands. And then even doing virtual things, when you're excited or when you're when you're on a virtual meeting, lean in. Oh, really? Is that right? Oh my goodness, that's great. That's going to help foster that team environment even in a virtual space. Amazing. And what are the benefits of learning how to read this language? And what might we be missing even with our own body language? Exactly. So it's going to give you an x-ray vision, I call it, into people's emotions and intentions and also your own. So for instance, when you know that a shoulder shrug means uncertainty. So just having these cues and tips and knowing what they mean, it's really going to help you build connections and even watch out for danger. I love it. And when you thank you for sharing that. And when you say there is a link between self-confidence and body language, talk about that just a little bit, if you don't mind. Sure, absolutely. So you know how you see the women or the little kids doing like the, the Superman pose or the superwoman <laughs> pose. That it, it sounds crazy and you think it's silly, but that that position sends a, a message to our brain that we are confident. We are strong. So I tell people, especially women, before they get up to do a big speech or a big talk, go in the bathroom, go do that power pose, look at yourself in the mirror. And then also, this is another one that's going to seem funny, shake your body. I see a lot of people when they get up for interviews or they have to go on TV, they get really nervous. Go in the bathroom when you're after you do that power pose, shake your body, shake your body. What we say is when in doubt, wiggle it out. That's going to help you release some of those nerves. <laughs> so this is important for all relationships, right? So exactly. what are three ways that we can detect a liar? Okay. So we talked about one, which is a shoulder shrug. So I'm going to give you three other ones. So pay attention to when someone, you ask them a question and then or that you do something, they start to play with their collar. A lot of times you'll see men do this. They'll start to start to adjust their collar. And you may think, oh, he's just getting himself together. But that really is an indicator of three possible things. One, it's a pacifier. A pacifier is anytime we touch our skin to our skin. It's a way of calming ourselves down. When we're not being truthful, or maybe when we're trying to hide something or when something makes us uncomfortable, we internally get hot. But another one you want to look out for is a jaw shift. So when somebody kind of shifts their jaw from left to right, when we are not being truthful or when we are hiding something, or again, something has triggered an emotion. What I really want people to take away from this, it doesn't always mean that you're lying. It just means that somebody triggered an emotion. When you see that jaw move, that's a trigger. Something could be going on. Dig a little bit question, dig a little bit deeper. The last one is more of a sound, but it still falls under the body language category, and it's called the, the tut. So you have, when you start to talk and you ever hear somebody start off with, like they kind of <laughs> suck their teeth a little bit in the beginning, but we do that what? When we don't like something that we hear or we see or somebody wants us to do. <laughs> so we watch the presidential election, we'll, we'll, we'll know to look for all of these. Yep. You'll hear it a lot. You'll see it a lot for sure. <laughs> 
That's a good point, Sandy. And you mentioned spouses. So let's talk marriage. Um, how are marriages affected by body language and how can we improve our marriage just with body language? A lot of people will use it to want to detect deception when somebody's not being truthful. But I like to flip it and use it to build a connection. So just the slightest touch. Maybe you walk in the house and your husband or your wife is, is washing dishes or cleaning up something. And I'm just walking in and saying, oh, hey, how was your day? And just go mm -hmm. about it. Slow down for a minute. Touch them on their back, touch them on their arm, touch them on their shoulder, and really look. Especially them, if you have a partner who is love language is, is physical touch. Exactly. That's my hubby. Exactly, exactly. And, and even for those that are not, the moment you start to do that, they'll kind of look and be like, hey, you're paying me some attention. I got to ask this really quick. What if it's via phone? Like, what, what is a good um, indicator if, if you're communicating via FaceTime? phone? FaceTime? Like FaceTime? Yeah. Oh, FaceTime. So, I mean, same as virtual, same as if you were communicating virtual, you want to uh, reinforce the, the connection, but you want to do it with words. So we don't have a lot of time today to get into words, but you want to use those words. You want to alter your tone when you're speaking. So you can speed up and speak a little bit faster, or you can slow down and speak a little bit slower, or you can kind of get a little intimate and, hey, how are you doing? Those three little things right there, three different types of conversations. That's wow. Good. So I want to ask you, ladies, um, did you all see the woman that went viral with a 50 part series? Who the mm, did I marry? <laughs> all because she knew how to pick up on body language signals. Um, have you seen this? And what were your thoughts on this viral moment, Tiffany? It was interesting. It was it was a <laughs> it was a really interesting uh, a show. Some of the things that, that she picked up on were accurate. Some of them some of them weren't. But I mean, at the end of the day, when you when you are able to know what these cues are and really, really tune in to how they impact other people and then recognize them in yourself. I always say the best way is to recognize them in yourself. And that makes it 10 times easier to see it in others. So when you know that deceit looks a shoulder shrug, it looks like a lip block, it looks like somebody licking their lips, you can identify it easier in, in others. So, yeah, she was on to something. <laughs> I saw your body language as soon as she asked you that question. How <laughs> so how can people work with you, Tiffany Lee? How can our uh, Connect fam connect with you? Absolutely. On Instagram or LinkedIn, it's going to be the real Tiff Lee, or they can go to my website, thebehavioralfactor.com. And I'm always open to answering questions and having conversations like these. But thanks again for coming by, Tiffany. We really enjoyed having you here today and giving us all the tips on the body language, the movement. Um, and to our viewers, do not go away. When we come back, we have very valuable tips from financial expert, entrepreneur, and Professor Oyinka Koch.